Well, hello and welcome back to tutorial 63. And uh, in part three, we're going to be applying the indicator that we created in the videos part one and two to radar screen. If you've not seen one or two, probably would be a good idea to watch them before this, uh, this video. But anyway, let's dive straight in and uh, open radar screen. So we're gonna go new window. I'm gonna select radar screen. And uh, when that's opened, we're going to insert a symbol list. I think what we'll start with is the uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Stocks. And uh, we do that by clicking Insert, Symbol List. And uh, we want Trade Station Symbol List, Index Components. And uh, under Dow Jones Indexes, we want the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Going to say OK. And then what we're going to do is insert our indicator, which is tutorial 63. Just going to say add. And what I'm going to do is remove some of these other columns because we don't really need those at the moment. Whoops, a little bit too much there. So 63, going to say OK. And uh, I'm just going to adjust the, uh, the columns a little bit so we can probably you look at the um, S&P 500 in a little bit, but uh, just so that we can see what's going on here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just arrange the windows vertically so we can see the chart and the and the, uh, the symbols at the same time. And uh, what I want to do is set up the the symbol and the interval linking so that we can click on a, a stock in radar screen and we'll get the same thing appearing on the chart. So what I'm going to do is click on AA here and uh, you'll notice that the formatting has gone wrong on the chart and I think there's anything I can really do about this apart from just go format symbol and then re-modify uh, it so that for the symbol we have the scale running from minus 200 to 200. And then we can see the uh, the chart. Now you'll notice that there has been a cross, but this is not appearing here on the um, on the radar screen. Now, there's a couple of things to notice. One is that the uh, the value here of the CCI is different from here. And what I found is that it's a good idea to um, highlight the symbols and press the refresh button just so that we get um, the, the, uh, the values appearing correctly between the uh, chart and radar screen. And uh, you'll see here now it's 53.33 and uh, actually we don't have a cross anymore. So, But the reason that we weren't seeing um, a cross happening here was because one of the things we need to do is add some more bars and uh, excuse me just need to click on radar screen then go format analysis techniques and we're going to look at 63 and the reason for that is that um, the program the way it works is it's storing information about pivots often from several bars back so we need to actually give radar screen some additional data and uh, you know this is up to you how much how many additional bars you load I'm just going to start with 100 here and um, hopefully we'll start seeing some uh, some trues appearing, showing that there has been a uh, a cross. Okay, the next thing we need to do is in radar screen set up the uh, the sort, and uh, what we can do is do this on the column that has the the true uh, in there, and we can also make it so we keep the data sorted. So I'm just going to keep it sorted every uh, every 10 seconds or so and uh, you'll see here that we've now got those uh, stocks where there has been a cross at the top and again if we were to just uh, for example cross uh, click on general electric the chart will change we then need to go format symbol just change the scaling uh, back to what it was unfortunately we can't set this as default but uh, 
doesn't take too long to do that and you can see there there is a cross which is reflected on the radar screen now you'll notice up here that uh, with CAT it says true but the background is not colored in and that is because and let's just go there for a moment and uh, maybe we'll see this happening but if I um, I'm just going to change the scaling again to minus 200 to plus 200 like so and the reason for that is what this means is there has been a cross during this particular bar but there is not one at the moment and if that doesn't reoccur by the end of the bar then the true will disappear um, and equally for any of these ones here if the cross uh, changes during the development of the bar then you'll see the background disappear uh, for a moment now the other thing that we uh, that we need to look at here are alerts now I've got the alerts turned off at the moment but uh, we can go again if we click on radar screen go format analysis techniques we click on format alerts and then enable alert so I'm just going to set this up as one once per bar and we're going to clear it at the end of the bar and uh, let's um, let's use some custom settings so we'll have an audible uh, beep and the visual let's have a pop-up window for five seconds so I'm going to say OK there and OK and now what you'll notice is we're getting the uh, the pop-up windows occurring we're also seeing these little blue dots in the, the uh, radar screen here this means that the uh, the alert is on and then uh, the purple means that the um, the alert has been triggered on a previous tick and uh, you can change the color of those actually if you go to uh, format page and then you can see the various options here so alert enabled is blue alert triggered is red and past triggered alert is uh, magenta and if we were to watch this for a few moments we'd probably see uh, in some cases where the alert triggers as red and uh, you, you then know that the, the uh, alert has actually literally just triggered on that tick and uh, and so on so that is that is using radar screen with the uh, the Dow Jones industrial average we could uh, go ahead and delete those stocks from the radar screen and we could for instance insert another symbol list perhaps the uh, S&P 500 stocks again we go down here in the uh, trade station symbol list choose the S&P 500 click OK and uh, what I'm going to do is just build this thing up here and uh, we're probably going to get a lot of alerts so what I'm going to do is go format analysis techniques I'm just going to turn those alerts off for the moment obviously be, be particularly careful if you set the alerts to uh, send you an email because you could find yourself getting a great uh, number of emails so I'm going to turn off the alert there and uh, just go back to the radar screen and uh, again um, it's going to take a little bit of time here because we're literally processing a large number of stocks and uh, once these are loaded I would also recommend doing a refresh just to make sure that the CCIs are calculating correctly okay I've done a refresh and uh, now you can see um, the uh, S&P 500 some of them haven't uh, calculated yet uh, we're actually doing a lot of calculation because we've got 500 stocks here and we've got uh, 100 additional bars plus the uh, the bars that uh, radar screen has also deemed necessary itself so we're loading a lot of data and doing a lot of processing but you can see now the uh, all the stocks where we have had a recent cross um, so anyway uh, that's a, a brief introduction to applying this to a radar screen I hope that has been useful and uh, I will make this modified program available at markplex.com if you uh, if you'd like to download it that's m a r k p l e x thank you